Hi, good morning everybody. Stevie here from Never Too Late to Travel. Got a lovely treat for you in store this morning. Just arrived at uh, Pu Panoi, which is just outside of uh, Nongbu Lampu. And it's uh, a lovely park area, uh, high up on the hillside or the mountain, whichever way you want to describe it. And with some absolutely fantastic views over the countryside. I must say, I am really impressed with this place. Somebody's gone to an awful lot of effort uh, to put bridges and decent walkways for those people that uh, find it difficult to walk. Um, and especially for the wife who's recovering from a stroke, as you know, it's absolutely fantastic that she can actually get out the car, have a walk into the open countryside and enjoy the views as just the same as anybody else. So for that, I'm really impressed. Free admission, we didn't get charged anything to come in here this morning. It is also uh, a camping area. So if you're in the area and you need a camping spot, this might be an alternative for you. So we'll start our walk around. I'm gonna walk right through the uh, walkways up to the uh, main viewing point, and I'll show you what's on offer here. Absolutely fantastic, guys. So please bear with me to the end of the video. So just park the car up. Uh, which is at the back of me and uh, the first little viewpoint that we see is just to the other side of this red bridge and you can see it's a very very uh, rocky outcrops here uh, as I said it's high up on the hillside so just be careful when you're walking that you don't slip over because there's an awful long way to fall somebody's gone to a really nice effort to make it safe for everybody and uh, fair, fair credit to the park so let's take you steady, uh, take you down and uh, we'll cross this little bridge at the end and uh, I'll just let you have a look at some of the views here. Actually taking the wife down here this morning so uh, she was really really pleased to see the views. Uh, stretching over to uh, Nongbu Lampu and other places which <laughs> I'm not sure what they are but uh, obviously there's a lot in the distance. So a short little bridge here uh, over a quite a, a deep chasm as you can see there and right at the other side of this bridge there you've got an absolutely fantastic view over the whole of the countryside I'm presuming over to the right there where the majority of buildings are that, uh, that is uh, Nongbu Lampu cracking day for filming guys really uh, warm uh, and thankfully there's quite a lot of trees around here so we do, do get a decent amount of shade a little bit misty out there but uh, what do you expect when you're a little bit high up in the uh, mountains or the hillside so with that we're going to turn around now and we'll walk along the path and it'll take you right to the far end of the other viewpoint and uh, we'll meet the wife on the way quite a long drop down here guys won't want to be falling off this bridge if you bring in uh, children with you please be mindful that there are quite large gaps uh, in the railings on the uh, walkways you really need to keep an eye on them a couple of people camping out uh, here I think they probably stayed last night because they were cleaning all their pots this morning and what a lovely location to come guys really peaceful nice views can't fault it so we're going to basically follow this path along here and uh, show you the uh, the views as we go along the best i can obviously a lot of the views are uh, covered in by the trees and the foliage and uh, we won't see the main viewpoint until we reach the far end Nice little place there to pitch a tent and uh, many little like gazebos here that you can sit and take a rest. I did note that uh, walking up with the wife this morning there is uh, quite a few resting areas that you can stop and sit down and chill out for 10 minutes. I'm not going to jump onto that uh, centrepiece there, it's a little bit wide for me. very peaceful you can hear dogs barking miles away a 
Not too far guys from the centre of Uden Tanny. Took me about uh, 35 minutes to drive here and it, uh, I must say, it's a very, very decent road actually. It's been uh, re resurfaced in a lot of places so it's uh, quite a pleasant drive. These are the walkways that I was telling you about guys. Somebody's made a real effort to uh, create a safe uh, footpath for those people that uh, quite are not as nimble as we are or a little bit unsteady on their feet. You can just glimpse in the foreground there the, the view but it's, uh, it's not really uh, exceptionally good at the moment but that'll come in due course. Plenty of parking area guys spotted around these trees and uh, around these trees and in that center uh, bamboo bamboo cl clump there I've left the wife sat in the coffee bar because she's already walked the place and uh, I'm sure she won't want to walk it again as much as she found it interesting, she really liked the walk this morning. A couple of uh, picture uh, selfie places here. Sit on the seat there, take a selfie of yourself with the love heart. And somebody's taken an effort there to warn people of uh, some of the more dangerous places in the rocks there. They've actually flagged it off, which is nice to see. Not that everybody takes notice of them, to be honest. People are uh, desperate for pictures and they take unnecessary risks. A coffee bar here, drinks place, get some snacks. That's where I've left the wife and we're coming back to her in a bit. Some more people just turned up this morning. And a uh, nice uh, love heart there for you to watch. Just seen some more people arriving, so uh, <coughs> I'm sure that over the weekend we'll get quite a lot of visitors here. Yeah, it's flagged off there because uh, it appears that a lot of the rocks are moving. I can just see the wife hiding in the background there. She's just chilling out at a table with a cold drink. Probably can't see me, the sun will be in her eyes. She did have a little swing on this uh, <coughs> swing this morning, so she was uh, quite, help quite happy to sit down and have a rest for two or three minutes. Little bit of information there. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see it. It is a mountain range, uh, apparently. And apparently it uh, also stretches in, uh, into uh, many different provinces, which is not surprising to me. There is an awful uh, uh, lot to see uh, out of the viewpoint. You can see for miles and miles. So obviously it is going to stretch these viewpoints. More rock formations here. Quite fortunate it's not raining today, so no uh, slippery wet rocks. And there we have a sign there. See if I can get you a decent shot here in between the rocks, just to show you how deep some of the crevices are. 
you certainly wouldn't want to be falling down them. Uh, quite a big build up of leaves there, but it does go down an awful lot way as you can appreciate. This rock has actually been tied to the uh, big tree here, so that's uh, maybe in danger of falling. Wouldn't want to be at the bottom when it does actually go, it will go with a hell of a bang. So there is another major viewpoint coming up, we'll, we'll make our way around there. Some people just arrived, they're tired already, sat down for a rest. Small shrine there to pay respect. And again, as I was describing before, somebody's gone to a real effort to make these uh, places safe for people. Nice little uh, bridge here. And again, a long drop down there, which I wouldn't want to, to go down. It must be uh, over a couple of hundred feet if you go forward of us. better view right down to the tree line at the bottom and a nice flat rock here again you can see some fantastic views over the countryside guys as I say sadly I can't name them uh, only Nongbualampu which I know is across towards the right there uh, if somebody would like to tell me what the other provinces are that surround this place I'd be quite happy to read your comments. I know that uh, to the left it goes over towards Konken and uh, that area. You can clearly see the rock formations here guys. What an absolutely fantastic place. additional seating areas here guys and in fact you could actually post a letter here now how fantastic is that <laughs> you wouldn't expect to find a post box halfway up a mountain or maybe you would see if I can get you a better view of the countryside from this vantage point absolutely amazing get some fantastic pictures here guys just looking back over the areas to the bridge there we've just uh, come across So, leading uh, on from this place uh, directly at 12 o'clock now, we have the uh, main walkway which is going to take us up to the main uh, uh, viewpoint and uh, it is really really nice up there guys. Stick with the video to the end, you're not going to be disappointed. Awful lot to see, hope it uh, gives you some encouragement to visit the place if you're in the area. I would have liked to have flown the drone here, but uh, you can't fly them in national parks without a permit. I did read in uh, one article on the internet that in some places national parks are charging 5,000 baht for a permit. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. That's over $120. So this is the walkway, guy, walkway guys, up to the main viewing point. 
hopefully we'll see a little bit more of the uh, viewpoints as we go up. We'll walk to the first rest point to show you uh, the standard of uh, the places where you can sit and wait to get your breath or just take five minutes rest and then uh, I'll turn off the video till we get to the far end. Some massive rocks here. I think this is the steepest bit of this pathway. Doesn't get any more steeper than this, guys. Although I'm out of breath. I put that down to age, guys. I'm not young anymore. I see somebody's balance these rocks on top of each other. Uh, you often see it around Thailand. But uh, to be honest, when I worked in Mongolia, these were all over the Gobi Desert. Stones stacked up in strategic, important points. A lot of bamboo growing around here, amongst the trees. And this is the first rest point. Uh, that you'll reach uh, when you start on this path. A quite decent place to stay. Got enough room there for 10, 12 people to rest. So we're going to carry on up here and when we get to the top I'll turn back the camera. So this is the uh, second rest area that you'll come to guys uh, if you're determined to get to the end. And uh, from here, it's about uh, 100 metres, not much more. So let's get you a view from here. Absolutely amazing. As I said, I would have ruled off to have got the drone up here. It would make for some fantastic footage. But sadly, the big man say no. So not much more guys, another 100 metres and I'll show you what goodies we've got at the end. So as you can see, as we get uh, closer to the viewpoint, which is coming into view, a lot of seating area there, and the best view over the countryside. Got a big river or a pond down there in the distance. So here we have a guy, the uh, main viewing point uh, and nothing to be disappointed about. Again, another gazebo type resting place. You can sit and have 10 minutes before you go back down. And what an absolutely amazing view from up here, guys. Really, really impressed. Happy not to have missed it. The wife did want to go to a different place 
this morning, but when I looked at it, there was nowhere for her to walk really. It'd have been just, it would have been impossible for her. So here we have the signage of uh, Pupanoi and the little Google marker there. So there you have it guys, absolutely fantastic place. I would encourage you to come and have a walk through the grounds. I'm sure that you'll find it interesting. You get some lovely pictures. There is a little playground down towards the cafe area where we left the wife and the, uh, the younger generation can spend half an hour playing there in the garden. So we'll wrap this video up guys. So guys, I do really do hope that you've enjoyed the walk through. Uh, it's a very hot and sticky day, I've done my best. And uh, I'm gonna try and find a place to eat now and take the wife. Uh, she's due her medication shortly, so she needs to eat. Uh, there is a really nice place that we go to around the Nongbu Lampu area. And uh, we'll be showing you a video of that in the, in the near future. So with that, my friends, don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, leave comments it always helps my channel to grow really struggling for subscribers at the moment maybe somebody can tell me why we're not attracting them uh, we do the best to give you uh, decent content so that my friends take care of yourselves and i'll catch you on the next one take care bye bye